Hi, this is Jessica Weibel with JW Illustrations. Today I'm going to show you how to open your EPS file in Illustrator and change or edit the colors of your clip art sets that you can purchase at my site. Every clip art file, every clip art set, I should say, um, through my website or at mygraphico.com, you can find an EPS file. These files are wonderful little tools because they allow you to change the colors on your graphic set to suit your project needs. First, open your Adobe Illustrator program and then you will select the EPS file that you want to work with. I chose Birdie Told Me. You go to File, Open, and it was right here in my birdie you told me file EPS when you open your file at least on all of the graphic collections that you'll purchase at my site they will all be on the same layer on the same artboard if you click on it you select all of them now obviously you don't want to edit all of them at the same time, you want to edit one at a time. So using your selection tool, which is the black arrow at the very top, you're going to right click and hit ungroup. Now what this does is it separates all of these graphics. So now you can go in there and select everything individually and edit as you please. Well, what you need to do is choose which graphic you want to edit, and we'll go with this little pink birdie here. He's the one I will, I will edit for you. And with the direct selection tool, you want to select all of him. So click and drag a rectangle around his body. Make sure you have everything selected. Unclick, and he should all be selected there. Go to Edit, Copy. Now he is on your pasteboard or your clipboard. Go to File, New, and here you'll have a new document open and you can choose how big you need him for whatever project you're working on. And you can choose to work in inches or pixels. It does not matter. Now all of my graphics are created in CMYK format. So if you choose to work in RGB instead, this is for if you're going to use the graphics for web design, you may encounter a few slight discolorations. The colors may be different. You want to make sure your project is at 300 ppi because high quality is the best. And go to OK. Since your little bird is still on your pasteboard or clipboard, go to Edit, Paste, and there he is. He's very small on my little on my seven by seven, so we want to resize him. I'm gonna put him way up at the top here, and make sure you hold down the Shift key when you resize one of your images. If you resize without holding the Shift key down, look here, you can make make him all out of proportion and this is a bad thing because it blurs lines and makes him very unworkable and not as cute so make sure you hold the shift key down and at the corner here just drag him as big as you need him I'm going to drag him the full 7 by 7 to work with click and then now we're going to we want to change his colors for whatever project that you want to use. It is okay in my terms of use to change colors. This is what the, this tutorial is about. It is not okay to move or to um, edit shapes and make him look different. That That is not okay. Today we are just color recoloring him. So if you want to select more than one color or more than one shape. You can use the, either of these tools. This is the direct selection tool and this is the regular selection tool. So let's say we don't want him pink. You can select one 
and two at the same time. You can select all at the same more by holding down the selection key. So one, two. We'll select the pink. We'll do the wing too. And I go to my Panatone swatches. Because Panatone will print right, the right colors. And let's say we want to change him to a pretty cherry red. And all of my secondary colors, I go up here to color guide. And this is the red I used for his body. This is the next color is what I usually use for the next color in. A lot of my graphics are made with a shadow color on the inside. So that's what how I do. For the little shadow, we want a darker red. And I'm just going to play here and, and put in some random colors so that I can show you how to save. Okay, so he is all done. He's a new color, ready for your project to export. What we're going to do now is save him for uh, your project. If your project is for print, you want to go to File, Export, right here, and you pick where you want to save him. And you can save him in PNG, TIFF, JPEG, Photoshop, whatever is your fancy. And birdie. And hit save. And it will pop up a little window here, your PNG options. And you can choose screen, medium, or high. I always choose high. And OK. And it takes a minute for him to save. Then you are all done. And that is all I have for you today. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at admin at jessicaweibel.com. And I will be more than happy to get right back to you. Thanks again, and I will see you around the blog.